I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Today's topic is inclined plane, a laboratory experiment to determine the acceleration of a body rolling on an inclined plane. Apparatus required: an inclined plane, a small cylinder or a sphere, a stopwatch. A meter scale. This is a support. This is a plane. Made it inclined. A cylinder or a wheel rolling. Initially, its velocity is zero. After t seconds, it has covered a displacement s yes, along the inclined plane. Using the equation of motion, second one. S equal to u t plus half a t square. For u equal to zero, you get the equation a equal to two s by t square. This is the formula we are going to use to find the acceleration. This is the empty table that we are going to use. On the experimental bench, from one edge, using scale and permanent marker, zero, fifty centimeter, seventy-five centimeter. 100 cm 125 cm and 150 cm are noted in the table we have serial number slope distance or you can say displacement under slope for m1 we will do the experiment for another slope m2 and there is third slope m3 for the slope m1 The experiment will be conducted for three different uh, displacements: hundred, one twenty-five, and one fifty. Similarly, for M two, hundred, one twenty-five, one fifty, and similarly for M three, hundred, one twenty-five, and one fifty. Now the time taken: trial one t one seconds, trial two t two seconds. Average time will be t one plus t two by two, and square of the time t square second square, and finally a equal to two s by t square centimeter by second square. By adding some mass under the experimental bench, you can convert it into a inclined plane. So the bench itself is a inclined plane here. So from the hundred centimeter mark, I am releasing a small cylinder and noting the time taken with the help of a mobile stopwatch. For the same hundred centimeter, trial two. These trial one, trial two values, that is t one seconds and t two seconds values, are noted in the table. Three point five three seconds and three point four six seconds. For one twenty five centimeters. The times are noted. Trial one over. Now the trial two. From one twenty five mark, I am releasing this cylinder. So with the help of another mobile stopwatch, I am noting the time taken. These two values, T one and T two values, are entered into the table. Now the experiment is repeated for 150 centimeters. For 150 centimeters, trial one, and now for the same 150 centimeters, trial two. These two values are again noted in the table. Now the slope is increased from M1 to another slope M2 by adding some more mass under the bench. So the above experimental procedure is repeated and the table is filled with value. And again some mass is added 
so the above experimental procedure is repeated and the table is filled with values so after a calculations this is the table so under slope we have m1 and uh, under distance 100 cm so two values t1 and t2 are noted their average is calculated and square of that time is calculated and finally acceleration is calculated similarly for 125 acceleration is calculated similarly for 150 acceleration is calculated these three values are added and divided by three we get average value of acceleration in the first case so similarly for slope 2 accelerations are calculated m2 100 acceleration for the slope m2 distance 125 what is acceleration for the slope m2 150 distance acceleration average of these three accelerations is calculated similarly for a third slope m3 for 100 125 and 150 distances accelerations are calculated and their average is noted 40.83 centimeter per second square this is the average value of acceleration so for slope 1 the acceleration is 60.66 in the case of slope 2 the acceleration is 28.72 and in the case of slope 3 the acceleration is 40.83 Now, graphs are drawn between S and T. So, in the first case, for slope 1, the time versus distance is plotted. And similarly, for slope 2, time versus distance is plotted. So in the third case for slope 3 also time versus distance is plotted. So observe these are all straight lines. Now if you observe all the three graphs at a time you will find they are inclined with some different different angles. So recapsulation. Point 1. The experiment is done for three different slopes, for slope M1, acceleration is 16.66 cm per second square. For slope M2, acceleration is 29.47 cm per second square. And for slope M3, acceleration is found to be 40.83 cm per second square. Point 2. For a given distance, for example, 100 centimeters for various slopes M1, M2, M3 corresponding accelerations are tabulated. From this, for a given distance, it is observed that more the slope of the inclined plane, more is the acceleration of the rolling body. Point 3. Distance versus acceleration are tabulated. For a given slope, it is observed that the acceleration of the rolling body is independent of distance travelled. Point 4. S versus T graph. It is a straight line with a slope. In our experiment, for the three slopes M1, M2, M3, we got positive slopes. Point 5. When the three ST graphs are compared together, it is observed that the line corresponding to more slope is more steeper. Precautions To minimize the experimental errors, longer distances may be selected, smooth surfaces may be used, a digital stopwatch or a mobile phone stopwatch may be used to note down the time intervals accurately. If you like the video, please give a thumb up. For more videos, subscribe my channel, Happy Learning and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.